Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of ASA, the series where I answer your questions. We got a good number of questions today, so let's get started straight off the bat with EK Starlord. And he says, have you seen... Oh my goodness, this is such a fantastic and wonderful show. I absolutely love it. It's a little gory though, like every 10 seconds, I swear there's blood splatter, guts and gore and just, oh, I just every, I love every second of it. Like it is just such a fantastic show. Great story, great character development, great characters, like beautiful animation. It's just, it's such a wonderful show and I absolutely loved it. I finished it in like three days because I just couldn't stop watching it. Sadly, there's only eight episodes. It's just such a fantastic show and if you haven't seen it, I'd suggest it. If you have Amazon Prime, it's so cool. So I'd highly suggest that you watch it. It's just such a great show. So yes, I've seen it and I love it. Our next question comes from YND Bricks and he says, ASA, what do you think of the new Lego typewriter and Adidas? Adidas, Adidas shoes. I don't know how to say that word. I'm stupid. I know. <laughs> Going on with the typewriter first. I think it's really cool. I love all the moving parts, like how if you press on the keys, it like makes it look like it's typing something. I think the design is really cool. I'm not a huge fan of the sand green color. I think black or gray would have looked better, but then it probably would have been too like dull. So the sand green is probably the best pick. I think it's cool. Obviously, I'm not going to get it because I'm just not into it, but I think it's a really cool um, Lego Ideas set. And so, and then going on to the shoes, I'm not a real big fan of shoes personally, so I don't really care. In terms of a Lego design, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm actually going to turn that question around and ask you guys that if you want to comment what are your thoughts on the typewriter and the shoes do you like them do you love them do you gotta have them do you already have them are you gonna buy them did you buy them you know or do you hate them or not care like comment that if you want as well as a question or two of course and so yeah but uh moving on to the next question is from orange bricks and he says asa if you had to choose three sets and not get any other sets for the rest of your life what sets would they be so because you said if that means i don't have to so the logical thing to do would be say no I don't want the free three sets and just continue buying them for the rest of my life but that's not fun so I'll play your game anyways if I had to choose three sets I think the three that I would choose and this is just because I want them I know the logical thing to do would be pick the most valuable and expensive sets or whatever I would choose the Star Destroyer the Imperial Star Destroyer from 2014 the Venator from I believe it's 2010 I should do my research before making videos and the paneled Death Star from 1999. I just think those are really beautiful sets and they're kind of expensive so to have them for free would be really cool you know. Our next question is kind of similar to the last one and it's from Dark Side Bricks and he says ASA if you could have three of any Lego Star Wars sets what would they be and why? I'm going to continue the answer or going going with the answer that I just gave of those three but give another reason and that's if I ever decided because I can't buy any more Lego to just give up on Lego then I would sell those three and and then I could potentially make over $2,000 on just those three sets. So that's that's kind of the reason why. So yeah, hopefully that answers your guys' questions. Our next one comes from Starformer and he says, ASA, if you could have any character from Star Wars be made into a minifigure, who would it be and what else would be with in a set with that character? So honestly, I don't have a preference or a pick. I know that like a lot of the Lego community is like, I want this minifigure, I want this minifigure and I'm just kind of like whatever like obviously I love Lego Star Wars and I love Lego Star Wars minifigures but I don't ever beg for one because I just feel like that's kind of silly. To answer your question I don't really have a preference. Our next question comes from CF Productions and he says what summer sets are you going to be getting? So I'm hoping to get all the Lego Star Wars sets like Moff Gideon's Cruiser or whatever it's called now. Boba Fett ship. Actually it's the slave one. <laughs> the Imperial Transport, the, I don't even know what all sets are coming out anymore, the Battle of Mandalore, whatever it's called, like with Ahsoka and Maul, and then the Mandalorian shuttle or sh ship, whatever it's called, just all of them, the Bad Batch shuttle, Darth Vader's meditation pod, I'm looking forward to that one, hopefully I can get my hands on that one, I don't know if it's like exclusive or not, I'm hoping to get all the Star Wars sets and a couple of the Lego Minecraft sets, I really want to get like the Phantom Tower set or whatever it's called, like with the Phantoms, and then I'm also really excited about 
about like the ruins portal set um the horse stable looks pretty cool to me as well so yeah and then our last question of the day comes from red panda ranger and he says how much do you like spider-man in general and who is your favorite of the three toby andrew or tom so to answer the first part of your question i like spider-man i think he's cool i'm not like a super big spider-man nerd or anything like spider-man's cool to me but i just don't like read the comics or anything like he's cool and all but and to answer the second part i think tom is the best out of all of them like even though he's not actually as young as he looks he plays a good 17 year old and i think that that makes him fit the character better because you know spider-man's supposed to be like 17 or whatever i think tom holland does the best job i just i really do so and i personally i just like his movies the most because i think that the mcu is just really good at making movies and the other spider-man movies are just okay like the ones with toby mcguire are okay to me i don't like the ones with andrew garfield at all so that's gonna do it for today's episode of asa so thank you all very much for watching i appreciate each and every one of you if you have a question or two for the next episode of asa comment down below and i will pin my favorite to the top